Okay, great. All right. Well, look, let's let's go to uh, let's go over here. Let's go with Sean. Yeah. So, uh, quick update. So we finally exchanged on our first no money down deal on Friday. So that's all done and dusted. Exchange, now. yeah. So, yeah. yeah so Give it up. Yeah. Yeah, that felt really good. Um, it proves the concept as well. So it was nice to put that into action. We've got a refinance deal going through, which should exchange on the 1st of April. So that's great. I would say my biggest thing is that I feel like I've not done enough. I feel like I should, should have done a lot more by now. Um, a big focus for me last year was on that family office deal, which obviously didn't come to fruition. And I think my big learning point from that was to actually make sure my pipeline's full up and I've got multiple deals in that pipeline ready to come through rather than just going in on one. So that was definitely a big lesson learned from me. I've got, I've raised some good joint venture finance even this year, even though we're just hitting Feb. So the aim is to actually look at two or three deals at the same time. So we're looking at a flip with one bit of joint venture finance. And then there's two JV partners we've got where we're looking to do the buy refurbish refinance route. Um, with one, it's mainly buy to let, and with the other, it's looking at BRRR to SA. So slightly three different strategies, but they're, the buy refurbished refinance are very closely linked, and the flips are just something that form part of our deal analysis anyway. As I said, I feel like I should have done a lot more by now. Yeah. <laughs> I've always been like that though. Yeah, yeah, a bit, a bit I mean, It was something I brought up at the retreat, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm always very hard on myself. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I've been working on it, and I know I have got some good results. You know, raised a very decent amount of joint venture finance now. First no money down deal, done. So it's great on paper, I get that. It's just, I'm holding myself accountable to the potential that I know I can do, and I'm not there. So that, that's why I'm hard on myself, because I know I can do it. So yeah, that, that's my I, I think something we all have to remember, it's a journey, isn't it? Yeah, it's a journey, and it's, it's you know, assets for life, right? You know, we're here for a lifetime. And yeah, we'd all like it to be quicker, right? <laughs> I know, I know, I would. But yeah, but you know, there are going to be these. these, these... No, no, I love it. Like in terms of you know, Liam asked a question earlier about what's your motivation. Mine's still through the roof, and I enjoy it as well. Like I enjoy the joint venture, raising finance. I love doing that. Like it, I just enjoy having conversations with people, yeah. like, seeing how I can help them, and you know, especially paying back the private funder on Saturday after the deal completed. Like, you know, getting their feedback and everything, that was better than actually the money that was made on the deal. It was the fact that I'd actually helped someone create passive income whilst they've got a hectic life back in London, small family, I haven't got time to actually try and invest. Yeah. And so I, I genuinely, yeah, to answer your question, I, I, I am loving the process. I just, I'm very results driven. Um, you know, you've got like the, you heard of Colour Me profile? It's where you you do, like, you know Adam teaches spade and the type of personality you are? Well, mine on Colour Me profile was extremely red, which basically means I'm very target orientated, very much like to move at a quick pace. So even though I'm an accountant by background, where you'd think I'd be very every I dotted and every T crossed, I'm very much like, give me enough so that I can just run with it and I'll work the rest out on the way and get the results, so. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Well, I think I think you're doing some great things, mate. Yeah. You know, you, you are. You, you're doing deals. You're raising money. Um, you know, and, we're, and we'll explore in the next session. Let's explore. I think what will be really good for you is your, you know, daily plan of attack, uh, which I think is going to will help everyone, because then we'll see. Are you doing enough? What else can you do? Because there does come a point where it's like, okay, well, there's really no much more I could have done today. And then you have to say to yourself, well, it's been a great day. I've been really productive. I've done these nine things or three things. And there's really not much, I could not really have had a much better day. I always like to analyze at the end of each day. It takes me less than 60 seconds. You know, a quick review of the day. How's it been? Have I hit my daily targets? Have I done my actions? Have I been a lazy sod? Have I allowed something to get in the way? And you can just appraise yourself and almost mentor yourself through that process at the end of the day and so, say, well, tomorrow, let me just check my diary for tomorrow. Let me have a quick little look. What's in, because again, if you're not running a diary system, you're not going to be productive. You think you are, but it means you're winging it. 
Yeah, so I just check my diary tomorrow. Look, you can see there, I've got everything in my diary tomorrow. And I've got this space here in the afternoon where nothing's in at the moment, yeah? So, um, but everything is there. Every, every meeting, whatever I've got to do is, is in the diary, yeah? Um, so if you've got running a diary system with tasks that you're doing, then you're not going to be that productive. Who feels they can maybe get better at running a diary system? Raise your hand. Okay. Yeah, you yeah, always get better, yeah. Who, who, who's actually not running a diary system? And it's fine. Yeah, be, be honest. It's cool, cool, yeah. And I'm sure you're not the only one, yeah? You're the only one brave enough to put your hand up, Joan, yeah? <laughs> Um, you know, Sean, you're talking about beating yourself up, not feeling you do enough. The, the, running a diary system shows me if I'm doing enough or not. That's the bottom line. Because I can look, is my diary full or is it empty? And it's okay to be empty sometimes if I'm having an empty day. Everyone write down one, two or three things that you can improve or do that's gonna help you with Procrastination, motivation, having a better plan. What you know, because there'll be things that we've just shared that you are doing, and there'll be some things we've shared that you definitely aren't doing. So write down at least one thing. If you want to write down a couple more actions, because we want you to take actions from this session. Does that help? Yes or no, guys? Yes. Excellent. Good. Hey, I really hope you've enjoyed tuning into this mastermind session. I love working with ordinary people, helping them get extraordinary results, really showing them how to start, scale, and grow a property portfolio. The market right now is very strong. There are literally so many property opportunities that you can access, but maybe you're in a position right now where you wanna get into property, but you don't know where to start. You're not too sure how to find the deals, how to find the money. Maybe you think you need lots of money, lots of experience and lots of time. Well, hey, just imagine for a few moments that you are now a professional property investor. You know how to find the deals, how to fund the deals, how to fill or flip those deals. You are now just investing five to seven hours a week in building your own property portfolio. And remember, you can do this just part time using other people's money. And what is important is to understand what is the right strategy for you. So listen, if you're tuning into this now and you want to start, scale and grow a very successful property portfolio, I know what works, I know what doesn't work, and I am giving away some free tickets to my up and coming property event. Hit the link in the description right now. Hit that link right now. Grab your free ticket and I'll see you at one of my online or in-person property events. If I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you on the other side.